So yesterday was World Mental Health Day and I thought about talking about mental health from the workplace that is balancing work and life. Just having that work-life balance is so stressful and it is really affecting so many people's lives, affecting their families, affecting their peace, like it is just worsening as days goes by and I just thought about um, talking about that because like if I may ask like how often do you even have supper or lunch with the family members how often do you even get time to go on a date how often do you even get time to spend uh even a day with your family members you know like, i was wondering like how often do we get to do the normal things that we used to do before like how often do you get to even have dinner with your family members go on a date go out meet with friends like how often do you find yourself carrying work back home Whenever you are having your supper, you are still on your laptop. Whenever you are sleeping, all you think about is work. When you wake up, you just think about work and it's work Monday to Monday. Like, how is work affecting you guys? Like, because it's becoming tricky. <laughs> and one of the problems is that you're not having these conversations in our workplace. We have really weird uh, managers who are taking over our lives and they're not having these conversations and you'll only come to realize that you're being affected after you've really gotten depressed you're getting out of that hospital you're getting out of a surgery you're seeing a lot of pills in your bags you're taking a lot of pills that's when you realize that it has really gotten to a really bad place and yet mental health is something that you could have dealt with a long time ago and one of the ways that i'm going to talk about is about standing for yourself standing for what you want if someone is not doing you right if you feel like whatever they're doing does not uh, satisfy you it is not right you have the right to talk about it talk about it it's better you talk about it than you let it affect your mental health then later on you're gonna have to spend all that money on paying those hospital bills to be treated like the other thing is for our managers and the leaders like at the workplace really try and take mental health um, as serious as you take the physical health like if I can call you and tell you uh, today I don't feel okay I'm a little bit stressed because of um, this and this happened at home take that as serious as the way I tell you I have a headache or I'm sick or I have a broken leg like the way you take that seriously take mental health seriously too and at least like give us a break like actually enjoy like those employers who give the employees time for a break like you're given uh maybe a couple of days so that you can take your leave whenever you feel like you just want to take a break you can take a break and there's that like open environment for you to say i'm not okay today i want to take a break or i'm not okay mentally i want to take a break like that can be really nice so the Mr. and Mrs. employers, please try and take mental health seriously. Because even if you I haven't asked for it, but you, you look at me and you feel like I'm not in a good state, try and talk to me. Like, don't just take your employees as people just come there to work and work for you, work for you, and you don't care about what happens to them even at um, home or if they're okay if mentally. Like, please, just try. I know, just try. And also, just let people be vulnerable like let me speak up because most of the time you find that people are scared of speaking up because they feel like if i tell them that um there's this thing that is wrong with me they'll just take you as weak as someone who cannot deliver and they'll fire you or they'll never give you a promotion because they'll just take you like you're a weak person or blah 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 so just let people be vulnerable let people speak up because no one wants to lose their job so people will just keep quiet and let all that stuff affect them because they want to keep their job and so when it comes to things that you can do there's one thing that i always talk about every other time and it is taking a break take a break go for a vacation just have time for yourself have time for your family just take a break because anytime you take a break and you feel that relief when you go back to work you feel like you start afresh but when you become overwhelmed every other week every other month every other year you're just piling up all that 
negative energy and it is going to really affect even how productive you are so take your break all the managers just try and give your employees breaks give them even like time the time that you can ask for this off a certain let's say i usually see people giving out their employees like you're given 30 days uh per year whereby you can just ask for a leave even if it's two days one week just for you to take a break go take a walk just have time for yourself like if we care about your mental health we are really going to improve all like even how our companies function that's why most businesses fail because you have employees who are really not um, doing it for their best so, sir. another problem that makes us not to talk and that makes us have to have these unhealthy environments at work is backbiting and talking negatively about our fellow like colleagues you find that whenever two people are together they're talking about the other guy whenever they, they're together with the other guy they try and talk about this guy like it is so unhealthy and that means you're not making it comfortable for people to express themselves because if i feel like i have a problem and i come to you and i talk to you about uh something that is let's say happening in my family and then you go and talk about it with someone else and i hear it from someone else like i'm really not going to open up to anyone like we should try and keep other people's secrets like to ourselves if i open up to you just make sure you keep it to yourself you really don't have to share it with everyone even even if at times even employers themselves they're the ones who are going to share other employees information with their fellow colleagues and this will just make your fellow colleagues like start looking at you weirdly and you just wonder like what is it that they are doing that for and then one day you realize that someone you told something about yourself went and did that uh, backbiting stuff so let's just keep the um, positive whatever going on yeah so right now i'm trying to take a weird breakfast yeah. <laughs> mm. okay